Hello friend, today we talk about MPC and MPS. MPC stands for Marginal Propensity to Consume and while MPS stands for Marginal Propensity to Save. These two terms help us to understand how people use their income. MPC is all about how much of an increase in income people spend on goods and services. Imagine we get a raise at work and we decide to spend a portion of that extra money on a new phone. That spending is our MPC. It shows how much of our increased income goes towards consumption. On the other hand, MPS is about how much people save from their income. If we receive that same raise but decide to put a chunk of it into our savings account or invest it, that is our MPS at work. It represents the portion of our increased income that we choose to save instead of spending. MPS are and MPC are like two sides of a coin. They always add up to one. If our MPC is 0.8, which means we spend 80% of our increased income, then our MPS will be 0.2, reflecting that we save 20% of our increased income. These concepts are crucial because they affect our economy. When people have higher MPC, it means they are spending more and boosting economic growth. On the other hand, a higher MPS indicates that people are saving more, which can slow down economic growth.